Salud. Hello. Thank you very much for being here, listening to me, and thanks to the organizers of the Romanian Testing Conference for allowing me to tell you my story. This is my first, talk, first, talk, first time giving a talk at an international conference, and I'm really excited. As we know, things that we do the first time are always memorable, and you'll be forever in my memory and in my heart. My name is Julia Duran. I am currently working as a test engineer at Glowfox. My talk is about how I got to that position. Let's start. This is how I felt two years ago, although I've been feeling that way for long. I wasn't happy in my job. I was working as a test manager at a Spanish consulting company. My team was made up of 65 people, and I dedicated my time to solve all the problems that so many people had more than doing anything related to testing. I also managed testing projects, dealing directly with clients. And if you have ever done that, you know that is hard work. Although I like management and helping people to grow, I wasn't really enjoying my job. And we certainly spent too many hours at work not to enjoy doing it. What I really wanted to do go, was go back to work in testing, put the ideas related to testing that I had in my mind into practice, grow in the test automation part, and dedicate myself more to a technical profile rather than to a management profile. Sounds crazy? Careers are normally designed to go from a technical position to end up managing projects or units. The path is designed to go from tester to manager. But I wanted to go in the opposite direction. I think they are totally different professional careers. I told my director about my new aspirations. I knocked on several doors within the company where I worked. But in a consulting company, the finances didn't work out. So I had to look for change outside. Being clear about your goal helps you to get it, because everything you think and what you do uh, will be aimed at achieving it. Perhaps to reach your goal, you have to make stops along the way. Working in a job that is not your ideal, but that can help you to achieve it. I wanted to work in a company that offered me an international multicultural environment and be surrounded by people who had a lot of knowledge in testing, something like what is shown in this picture. This was my goal. My collaboration with different conferences, both inside and outside of Spain, especially the European Testing Conference, helped me to be clear about what the workplace I wanted to achieve was like. To get this, I was willing to leave my comfortable environment where I have everything under control. Of course, the logical thing after working 16 years in the same company. Because what really makes you grow? Those things which make you feel uncomfortable. Being in situations that you don't really control yet makes you learn, makes you grow. And this is something that we, the testers, really like to learn and not to stop learning. Taking into account all this that I told you so far, the next steps were identify what, what was missing to get my goal and create a plan to be able to achieve it, a plan that is alive, that is adjustable throughout all the process. And for this, I felt it as essential to look for support in my community, the network of contacts that I've been doing throughout all the years I've been working in testing, those people to whom, uh, to whom I could tell my sorrows, 
ask for help, and people who will help me improve and achieve my goal. The first thing I knew I had to do to be able to work in an international environment was to improve my English. Yes, my English was even worse than now. <laughs> to be, today, we have many resources at our disposal that can help us. Movies in original subtitled version, podcasts about testing or any other, other subject, books or articles in English. But mainly, I improved my English when I found a good teacher who has helped me a lot on my journey to being here telling you my story. Testing has changed a lot in the last 15 years. Test automation is in the order of the day, so I need to refresh my programming skills. Before working in testing, I've been, wor I've been working as a programmer, so I had the knowledge I only have to practice. For that, I used CodeSignal, a web portal of programming challenges, which is not the only one. I don't know if it's the best either, but it's the one I used, and it was very useful for me. I've also heard uh, good things, uh, uh, very good things about Free Code Camp, but I haven't worked with it. And to improve my uh, automation knowledge as set up to date, I took uh, quite a few courses of this portal, Test Automation University, which is awesome. The courses have very good quality and are free. They are continually updating them. Highly recommended. Another thing that I did was hear about what other people were doing. I've given you a few examples of online conference because in the period in which I was preparing for change to change, they stopped being organized in person. They aren't the only ones, because if the pandemic has brought us something positive, it's a multitude of conferences with high-quality content that began uh, to be held online. And I also read a couple of books during this period. The first book, I guess it sounds familiar to you, helped me to improve the knowledge of agile testing I had. The second was really very useful to identify possible improvements to implement in my future work. I read and continued to read blog posts by people that I regularly follow on Twitter, such as Lisa Crispin, Janet Gregory, Maret Piha Harvey, Fiona Charles, among others. All this helped me to increase my knowledge in testing and to have my own opinion on when it was necessary to tell it. And the one that was going to touch me the most was the interviews. The market was and continues to be as I never seen it. I did it many, many interviews. For many weeks, I had up to five a week. A real madness. I got them through LinkedIn jobs or through job opportunities that friends directly sent me. Circular is a Spanish human resources platform that puts you in contact with job opportunities that may fit that you are looking for. A kind of dating platform with human resources. I think there are there may be something similar in other countries. You can also try Manfred, another Spanish company that works in a similar way. I haven't actually worked with them, but I've also, uh, also hear good things, and they are now growing in Europe. Honestly, right now, I don't think it's hard to find job offers, many of them to work remotely. After working, on updating my testing skills, the interviews helped me to find out how far I was from my goal. I did interviews, failed, learned from failures, and improved myself. I did it until I got closer to the technical profile I wanted to have and so be able to get the position I was looking for. And in this process, 
I learned a few things I would like to, say, to share with you. Sorry? The most interesting part. Okay. First of all, doing interviews requires effort and time. You have to prepare for them. It depends on how far you go in the process. But if you go farther, you'll mostly likely do a minimum of four or five interviews for a company. Your experience will be greatly influenced by how the companies organize the process. I remember one that after the first two initial interviews with human resource person and with the uh, test manager, the next four interviews in more depth and with people with different roles within the company were scheduled the same afternoon all in a row. So I was there for five hours doing interviews. From my point of view, it was something that could be improved. Yeah. <laughs> this was how, <laughs> how I remember the interviews with human resource from my boss with a terrifying fear. I remember that they didn't make me feel comfortable, that their questions sometimes turned out to be more opinions about what I told them than a desire to make me as a candidate. I really, I really didn't have good memories of the human resource people I had dealt with in the past. But what I found was something very different. I've met human resource people, most of the women willing to help me. For example, in an interview, when I say how much I like to earn, they told me, no, Julia, for people with your experience, in our company, we pay anything, and they would pay much more than what I ask for. They evaluate me, both for my experience and for my bravery in seeking the change to a job that would really make me happy. Very good, really. I only have good words for the most of the human resource people I have dealt with. I was asked this a lot. Well, I guess uh, that it was the mandatory question. Sometimes I noticed uh, the tone of suspicion behind the question. What if I wanted to be a manager again after a while? Maybe I could regret my decision. My answer was always the same. No, 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 no problem with that. And I also found that in some cases, they doubt that after working so many years in a consulting company, it would be possible for me to fit into the world dynamics of creating a product. I recognize that this was something that stopped me a lot when I was thinking to make the change, very much. But I think we're lucky to be working in technology, because our age isn't really important, it's not a problem, and it can be, as it can be in other sectors. I've heard several of my colleagues say, where am I going at my age? And I admit that I also came to think like that but it was completely wrong. I was completely wrong. And who is telling you this is someone who has been interviewed by people who were at least 10 years younger than me. Imagine a startup put together by four 28 years old friends. I'm not going to fit in there. What would they do with this old lady? But there are many companies. It's a matter of finding your place. In my humble opinion, being yourself is the best thing that you can do in your life. This also applies for two interviews. It's the be best strategy to follow for anything, without a doubt. which is linked to the following thing that I wanted to tell you about here. It's better not to exaggerate 
or as I like to say, not to get too creative. The best thing is to expose clearly and with sincerity your knowledge. This is what I know, and this is the experience I have. That is what uh, I believe that sincerity is one of the things that are most valued in an interview, because that builds tr trust. And if you don't have the experience in something, you have to at least show that you have the knowledge. You have to be able to explain it perfectly. In many interviews, they ask me for my opinion on a specific topic, such as observability, uh, which was something I had no experience with, but did have some knowledge of. Some interviews were really, uh, really good conversations about testing. One of the most, of the most curious questions I was asked uh, was who my reference were in the world of, the, of testing. And it was a really good question, because it was an easy way of knowing more about, about me regarding to testing and my goals. I really enjoyed doing the technical tests. They were like challenges for me, and they allowed me to learn and shape my tester skills. They were a most entertaining uh, exercise to think about what to test and how to test it. How to test it. Many of the technical tests that I ran were full of bugs everywhere. I had a lot of fun finding them. The interviews also allowed me to learn new things about how the companies worked in testing. I always did the interview with a notebook next to me uh, to write down the things uh, that seemed interesting or uh, that I had to take into account and then look uh, them up. Since I'm naturally curious, I took the opportunity to ask. For example, before the interviews, I didn't know anything related to the OKR methodology or about the agile metrics defined by Philip Liu. Something which is also very important to learn when you do interviews is to clearly identify when to stop a selection process, when to say no. I'll give you a couple of examples of situations that I live. The first, despite knowing that I didn't have much experience testing with Postman, they asked me to do some technical tests that were too complicated for the experience that I had. And although I tried for a while, I realized that completing them would require even more time. It was something that discouraged me from continuing with the, continuing with the process. Another example was that during um, an interview with a person from Human Resources, she conveyed to me the negative culture that they had in the company because of the aggressive way she asked the questions. So after a few days, I told her that I wanted to finish the selection process. People who do interviews tend to like you to ask them questions. Often, it's saying more about you than the answers, the answers that you give to their questions. So ask about everything they do and about how they do it. Ask questions of people in different roles interviewing you, including the CEO. Because if you don't, they can think that you lack interest and curiosity about they, what they do. When you participate in a selection process that is not successful, it's useful to ask for feedback. It allows you to understand how they see you. They tell you positive things, but they also tell you what they missed. And that can help you to face interviews uh, in the future more successfully. I remember that on one occasion, an interviewer told me, that was a, a very good answer, Julia. You have, you have been able to go further at the product level. And of course, I took it into account 
in the, in the following, in the interviews that I did later. Others told me that they miss me, so we more interest asking more questions about how they worked. Remember, ask questions. And if, if asked, it's also a good idea to give feedback to interviewers who are interested in improving the selection process. To those who interviewed me for five hours in a row, of course, I told them how I felt about that. To prepare for an interview, it's a good idea to do research and seek information on who the people interviewing you are, the company, the product they developed, and how they work. Do the exercise of putting yourself in the, yourself in the, place, in the place of the interviewers, trying to find out what they are looking for, to understand what you have to highlight the most during the interview. For example, for a company, web testing was highly valued by them, mainly the performance of the website. However, the use of its web portal via mobile wasn't. So the knowledge I might have of Appium to automate mobile tests wasn't valued as much. And if the process is successful, it's also advisable to find about working in these companies by contact contacting people who uh, already work there through LinkedIn. In general, the people I contact to ask about their companies were kind to me. I would still have been successful because I am a very tenacious person, <laughs> but no doubt it uh, would have been much more difficult to me without the help, help of, for example, the person who, after I didn't pass the selection process, dedicated an hour and a half of his time to give, to give me feedback. The person who taught me more about exploratory testing and automation than spending, spending hours of her time telling me what she knew. Those who helped me prepare the CV and send me job opportunities. All of them made me get it sooner and possibly in better condition. And well, what is Clofox? Glofos is an Irish startup founded seven years ago for, by three friends whose product is an application for the management of fitness studios. We have customers from all over the world, from the single owner of a yoga studio to large gym chains in the United States. In the 10 months that I've been working for them, my feeling is that they do everything possible to treat the 200 employees they have well, I saw the Glofos job advertisement, and I decided to apply. Later, I thought my, maybe my English wouldn't be good enough, and I regret it. So I wrote to the contact person, I, I told him that I wasn't sure that my English level was sufficient, and he told me, nah, it's, let's try it. During the first few interviews, I wasn't so nervous that I could only ask questions. I passed the first interview, I did the technical test and the technical interview. The CEO also interviewed me. And when they made me the offer, I cried. I couldn't believe it. Finally, I have achieved what I wanted so much for which I worked so hard. And here I am, happy as a partridge, as we say in Spain. I've started reading my blog, sharing what I'm learning. In my day-to-day -day work, I have a space to make proposal and to learn. I've already carried out several uh, exploratory testing sessions with a template devised by me, which is one the, that the testing team is now used for the exploratory testing sessions. I can already create my own automated tests with WebDriver IO using the existing test architecture. The atmosphere is fantastic. 
it feels like the United Nations Organization, which, which was another thing I was looking for. By the way, we are growing. Do you want to work with us? And now, and not only uh, technical roles need to be filled. If you are interested, please let me know. This image belongs to a series which was quite famous in Spain during my, during my childhood. It was called El Equipo A, the A-Team. The A -team. And at the end of each episode, the leader of the team always say this phrase, I love it when a plan comes together. Although the plan evolved as I learned a thing, I think it's key to do the exercise of thinking of a plan to follow. Well, let's go with the summary. We mustn't be afraid to face situations that make us uncomfortable. They're what make us grow, and once you go, you get through them, you're happy. I can give you an example of the latest of this type of things, situation that I've experienced. It has been giving this talk. Not only the time spent on the work done, but last night I hardly slept because of the nerves. <clears throat> Not to mention the nerves I'm going throughout now will I present it to you. But I'm already thinking about my next challenge, and it will be to give a technical talk. Who knows? Maybe the next time you see me around here, it will be for that. Trying uh, to change jobs is a great exercise in managing frustration. Without the mistakes, the failures and disappointments, I wouldn't have made it without a doubt. And finally, I'd like to emphasize once again the importance of giving and receiving, of sharing and what we learn. Science is much more difficult to us to do things alone. I hope I giving back some of what I received by sharing my story with you throughout this presentation. <laughs> well, I've been in Rivendell for 10 months. I'm happy, at least for now. I hope you had an entertaining time, that the learning that I've shared with you will be useful for something, maybe to improve your life, to find a new job, to find a new boyfriend or a new, a new girlfriend, who knows? I'm at your disposal to have a coffee and chat. Mult mesk mult. Thank you very much. Big, big round of applause. That was amazing. Thank awesome. you. Can I get a high five? Hey. People Thank you. in the Q and A also seem to agree. They love your memes and your presentations. So oh, that's thank awesome. you. And you have, if you want, you can start with that question. Considering okay. your yeah. career experience, how can someone can so know now? if a managerial position suits him or her? Now, suits him. Considering your career experience, how can someone know if suit him? He, he want to do the 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 opposite uh, yeah, so, so thing that I did. From, no, from your experience, yeah? if I wanted to be a manager, what would you advise me? How could I ah, be a manager how? if oh. I wanted to be one? Yeah, for yeah. Oh, of course. Um, if you want to be a manager, I think you have to be prepared to support people, to put in the place in the people, to help people to grow. Um, and to support the, the, the heavy uh, lot that's supposed to be the person who manages uh, the team. I think I, I, I enjoy, even, even uh, I told you that I really had bad time being, being a manager because maybe it was related with the type of the company where I were working, but it's a, um, a really good position if you love to help people to grow and to, to, to really uh, uh, do a, a high impact 
in the in the in the, in the life of people, and you have to be generous and uh, uh, have to be a good example for the other people. Because if you are a leader, if you are a manager, you have to be the best. I don't know if I reply the the question. Yeah, I think that's good. Thank you. Any questions in the audience? Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Why? <laughs> let's, let's see it. Were you seriously telling me that you had to go to six interviews for one job? Sorry, I, I have. Did, you, did they make you do six interviews for one job? Yeah. Seriously? Serious? You, at you, least. You really need to yeah, learn to say no. Yeah. At the beginning, the, the companies <laughs> told me the process. Um, I always say, sorry, it's a long process, but they never think in, in short the process. I don't know why they need that I know all people in the company to work there, and all people have to know me. Well, they can drinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. it's it's, it's really a hard work to do because you have to, 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 ha to do a lot of effort and you have to spend a lot of time, but I really need to change my job. <laughs> I, I really need it. Yeah. Thank you. Any other questions in the audience? Or Is there another one? Oh, okay. Let me scroll down. Oh. Let's, how do I, there we go. Really nice pace, love the oh, memes. Could have went you. without the recruiting part where you promoted yeah. your company. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it's, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, just promotional yeah. shit everywhere. It's okay. Fine. Uh, okay, uh, any questions, any questions? Okay. Come on, come on. Oh there we go, front God. row questions, <laughs> a lot of them. Um, there's like uh, many many people have uh, certain levels of dissatisfaction with their role or their job, um, and not everyone changes, and, and not everyone should change. At what stage, you know, how is there any way that you can kind of quantify how unhappy you are, or there's certain aspects of it that will say, yeah, I, I really need to change. Yeah, you know, definitely. I, yeah. So, so what would be the what would be the symptoms? The symptoms. Uh, um, because every day when I I have to to go to work or, or have my task, I I feel uh, really really bad about that. Especially in the time when we have to read the feedback, to give the feedback to to people. Because even if, if they did a really good job, I have to talk. I have to tell them that they didn't, because we have to maintain, a, a, you know, no, the pyramid to the. Um, in the last uh, feedback time, no, that I have to, to 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 do, most of them tell me that they were going to uh, put a, a denounce to the company or to put in the juts to the company because the result of the process or they, were, they weren't going to look for, for another job or they were, they were to, to go to, to, fail, to fall in a depression. It was too much to support to me because I, 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 I was not able to help that people to grow in that condition. I have not the best situation to, to do right, rightly my job because of that. Then it was the most for me. Also, uh, 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 working with clients is really hard. It's really, really hard and it's, sometimes it's really disappointing. I, I feel that I need to, to put my effort 
and my time in, work, in working in testing because, for example, when I was studying, I really, I know that I love mathematics. I love mathematics. And when uh, I discovered by chance testing, because I arrived uh, to testing by chance, I realized that it was my passion. Um, uh, working as a manager, I was not able to, to put into practice the idea that I have related to testing. I, I was working uh, much more a uh, manage of people, manage, managing people, that doing anything related to testing. And I have many ideas that I want to put in, into practice. Cool. You're welcome. Any other questions? Oh, oh my there goodness. we go. More <laughs> questions? The whole process uh, of learning to be a tester was done in parallel with the old manager job? Sorry, is the whole process to learn about to learn, testing is uh, part of the manager? No, the, if, if all the process of learning, gathering information for you to yeah. apply for new testing mm. jobs, you've done this, in the same time you were still a manager, did you do them both? Learning and doing the old job? If I can do, the, I could do the, the both things, to learn about testing and be a manager, is the question. Yeah, I have to because I love testing. I, I, will, uh, I wanted to be involved in testing and try to uh, teach the people who were, who were working with me and it's an important part, but I, have, I hadn't uh, enough time to learn about testing that I, that, 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 that I wanted to, to use for that. Then I have to decide, and I think, uh, at least today, I think that I did the, the right decision. I don't know if I answered your question. Please tell me that yes. <laughs> I think, I think the, the question was more, uh, while you were a manager, uh, is that when you also learned testing? What? Say again, please. So, Sorry. <laughs> you work as a manager. Yeah. And you switched to testing. To well, testing. I was working as a manager, yeah, and switched to testing yes. again, yeah. To prepare for the testing job. Yeah. It's a whole different set of skills, right? Did Definitely. you learn those skills while being a manager? Or did you take time off in between? Because or? previously to be a manager, I was a tester. Oh. Yeah, well, first, of, first of, of, of all, I was a programmer. After that, I was a tester. And after that, I was growing, the, the team was growing. I, I become to be a, a tester manager, a testing manager. Mm -hmm. And after that, I realized that I, will, I would like to come back to be a, a tester. Now, now, yes. Does that answer? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Sorry. <laughs> uh, no. Well, I think. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank Another you. round of applause.